My name is Ana Cabrera, I am a senior at Sugarland High School and today you will be joining us on our extrication day with the Sugarland EMT program. program is part of the public service and public health cluster and to be part of the program you need to be have taken a year of clinical rotations and apply to be accepted. Yeah, I like about this program it, that it gives you like a really good insight into the medical field it gives you the hands-on experience. Is the instructors themselves Mr. Angel and Mr. Miles they're just very experienced in what they do and they know what they're talking about and all that information gets passed down to us for us to execute it into our futures. The EMT program we learned a lot how to deal with patient in an ambulance how to care with them in a car accident or just any fall they have at home or anywhere. Um, here today they're going to demonstrate how to take a patient out of a car. Uh, the fire department's gonna just demolish the car, cut it up, and make it a little easier for us to get the patient out. everyone, we're here at a demonstration that our health science department with our CT department is presenting on a vehicle that was used by these gentlemen that have been here to demonstrate Jaws of Life taking out a victim out of a car. So I want to take advantage of this opportunity to talk to them a little bit about drinking and driving. As we approach the holidays, as we approach spring break, can you tell me a little bit about the things, of course we have Mr. Angel, who's our teacher here on campus, and our Mr. Mr. Miles. Mr. Miles, yes ma'am. And of course, your name? Abel Trevino. Abel Trevino here with the fire department to tell us a little bit about what they have seen in regards to drinking and driving and the vehicles here in the valley yeah. on, on different holidays as we approach. Well, uh, usually on occasion, uh, festive holidays and spring break and uh, anytime uh, we do have vehicles on the road uh, with drunk drivers that uh, recklessly uh, get into accidents and cause harm to families and family members. Um, that's all I can say that it's it it's a life changer. Absolutely, I can totally it's a big see time that. Life changer. Mr. Mouse. Yeah, so just kind of to to reiterate uh, some of those points, um, uh, the the way the vehicle is, which I'm sure they'll show kind of in a breakdown. Um, whenever we're using Jaws of Life or something like that in this situation, um, it's a very dire need. Uh, the, it, the patient's going to be seriously injured um, and they have really, really poor outcomes. Um, this is a delayed experience, meaning that the longer it takes for us to get you out of the vehicle, um, the more 
uh, dangerous. It's going to be our, probably a contradictive to you being able to live, right? And so it causes you to die, unfortunately. Um, so some of the things that we see, we do see on a regular basis, we see um, uh, the actual drinking and driving events that happen on a regular basis on Fridays and Saturday nights. Um, with the holidays coming up, obviously it's uh, that much more, um, that much more potent. I mean, meaning that um, they come up that much more often. Um, so it's definitely something that we are very cognizant of and it's very trackable. Um, those decisions that we, we allude to, um, that we choose to do, um, have a long-term effect. And so sometimes it's not the individual that's actually driving, it's who they hit. And so we may be extricating the person that they hit um, and those, those decisions don't change. And so they're, they're there for life. For sure. So, Mr. Onahead, I know you were in the EMT business, and um, I'm sure a lot of these cases dealt with teen drivers. Yeah, so that's one of the things that, you know, I try to talk to my students about right in class and, you know, the effects of drinking and driving, right? Um, you know, <clears throat> over the years, I saw a lot of students, a lot of young kids get injured, right? Um, themselves, their family, their friends, right, for a moment of having fun, right? And I know it's a big thing in high school, right? And I know it's something that, you know, peer pressure and all these different things. And so, one of the reasons that we're out here today is, of course, it's for our students to practice and get some training, right? And, but, you know, another thing is to be able to raise awareness about drinking and driving, right? And, of course, um, we want to make sure that all the students go out to spring break and come back safe, Absolutely. right? That's the biggest thing. I mean, we don't want any tragedies. We don't want any kids getting hurt, getting injured. Um, you know, we love the kids. We love the kids being here. I mean, we're here for the students, right? Um, that's why, you know, I got into teaching is to be able to, you know, be with the students now, now, not when they're in this situation, right? right? Because by this time, it might be already too late, you know, for us to do anything for the students. And so, but we're glad that, you know, we have um, Schmalz out here. We have Mr. Fire Department out here. And, you know, Ms. Garza giving us the opportunity to be and host this event, you know, first our first and hopefully more events to come like this. What a great demonstration. Yes. Absolutely. And I just thank you guys for being here. Absolutely. I think we can never say enough about the effects of drinking and driving and, and the effects they can have on not only ourselves, our family, and of course your family here at school. Uh, this month we are going to be talking a lot about responsible decisions. First and foremost, the biggest decision are the choices we make and the consequences that can happen with our choices, no matter whether it's good or bad. So thank you guys. It's always First, a pleasure to absolutely. have you here. You're always welcome. Great demonstration and we really appreciate your appreciate time. Very much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Are you ready?